When you think of the word salvation, what comes to your mind? In the Christian world, when we talk about salvation, we're talking about giving your life to Jesus Christ. It's a time when you make a decision that He's going to be the Lord of your life. For me personally, I made that decision when I was six. Uh, I was raised in a Christian home, but I didn't understand salvation for myself that I needed to personally give my life to Christ until I went to a children's crusade. They had an altar call that night, and they said, if you want to make a decision for yourself, it's not based on your parents or anybody else, it's based on your own personal decision. Well, there was a battle for my soul that night because I was really afraid to go down and pray that. There was something inside me that said, no, hold on, you don't want to give your life to Christ yet. And we know now that that's the enemy. He's always trying to steal, kill, and destroy from us. Well, finally, later that night, when I was all alone in my bedroom, I finally knelt and I gave up and I gave my heart to Jesus Christ. And I remember the incredible peace and joy that came into my life. Well, maybe you have lived your life a long time all by yourself. You try to figure things out. You try to wonder, how do I you know, live for God? How can I do this? Well, who does need to be saved? Sometimes people think if you're just a good person, if you try really hard, that that's good enough. Well, Jesus answered that question of who needs to be saved in a story with Nicodemus. It's in John 3. And Nicodemus was a very good man. Um, he was a Jewish leader. And he actually came to Jesus at night because he was afraid of what people thought. And in our society today, he would be considered a Jewish rabbi. He would be considered a pastor. He would be considered a priest. And he had a hunger for God, but Jesus said to him, you must be born again. You must be born of the Spirit. You see, until Jesus comes into our life, our spirit, our human spirit is dead to God. The Holy Spirit needs to come in and make us alive to God. We were all condemned because of our sin, but because of Christ dying on the cross, he took our place. All of us deserve to die and to go to hell for the sins that we've all individually committed. We've all messed up. The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God because everyone's messed up, including you and me. All of us need to have that redemption by Jesus Christ. So, and the next verse said, the salvation is a gift of God. There's nothing you, you can do to earn it. If you can imagine that you have been sentenced to prison for things that you have done, and at the last minute, you're just about to get from the judge that you're guilty and you're going to have to spend the rest of your life in prison, and someone comes up, and in this case, Jesus, and decides to say, I will pay the penalty for you. That's what Jesus did on the cross. He took your sins, he took my sins. He was a perfect person and he died to make you and I free. Have you ever made that decision? If you're not sure, I'd like you to pray with me right now and we can make sure that you will have Jesus in your heart and you'll live forever with him in eternity. So if you would, just pray this prayer with me right now and repeat it out loud. Jesus, I come to you I don't have much to give you, but I thank you that you love me and you died for me to give me a new life. I ask you to help me to live for you. I repent of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and I make you the Lord of my life. I thank you for that. In Jesus' name. Welcome to the family of God. You have just started a brand new life. Things are going to be different now. The Bible says that old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new.